Well, hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to Lap Steel Licks and the Tuning of Open G. I believe this is tutorial number two that we're working on today. Uh, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn the lick that I just played. However, the tuning is going to be a little bit different. Uh, this time, we're going to tune to an uh, actual Open G. Uh, which would mean it's the strings from the low to the high string would be G, B, D, G, B, D. G, B, D, G, B, D. Now, the reason I'm tuning this uh, steel up to the uh, G, the low G, is because this particular bridge is a bolt-on. It can take it. Uh, I can still leave the same heavier gauge of string that I like to use with my open D. Be careful. If your lap steel can't take that kind of attention, yeah, you may want to get a lighter gauge string for your bottom G. Um, or, or if you've got a bolt-on bridge, you'll be fine. You know, this is, this is fine. A uh, little different than the last tutorial, which was open G. However, I had used the low string as a D. Okay, so... GBD, GBD, uh, stay tuned and we'll break this thing down. For the first part of the riff, we're going to utilize a couple of two string combinations and a little bit of vibrato. Uh, this is something we've been uh, using frequently through these uh, first lessons and these uh, lap steel lick tutorials. So let's just play it slowly first. It's as simple as it is, um, so let's break it down. We're going to start with our thumb on the bottom uh, G string while simultaneously plucking the second string with our second finger, uh, having the bar at the sixth fret on the second string and only the second string. Um, we're not barring all the way across. We're not doing this. We're just getting this. So you're going to pluck those two simultaneously with just a little bit of vibrato. <laughs> Sorry, sixth fret. Okay, the next part will go to, it will just take the slide down to the fifth fret on the second string, same string. Okay, so uh, the third part of it is, we're just going to take the slide, uh, we're going to just bring it down to the third string and slide that gently, uh, all the while using the thumb as your drone string. I love those drones as we discussed in the last lesson. Now when we do the slide down, we just sort of bring it back up again, just a little bit. All right. One more time slow and then we just finish it on our second finger plucking that G string so like this and we simply finish it with uh, taking the thumb on the fourth string and we're gonna just go like this it's just a two string combination a little bit dissonant uh, but we're also going to uh, finish that with a little bit of vibrato so like this Okay, so you're just gently using vibrato on that third fret D string, the fourth string. Okay, so let's play the whole first part of this lick slowly. I'll just bring it up to speed. It's going to be a little bit quicker in the jam track for sure. And one more time. That's the first part of the lick. Yeah, stay tuned and we'll break down the next part. This part of the uh, riff is actually uh, quite simple. We're just going to utilize uh, three string combinations with our thumb and our first and second finger. So let's play the lick first.
Okay, so that's the middle of the lick. So let's break that down. So we're just going to be, like I said, utilizing the thumb, first and second finger. We're going to start with the slide all the way down at the third fret, and we're going to uh, play the bottom three strings. Okay, so like this. So we're just going to slide it up. We'll pluck them all at the same time together. Uh, sorry, we're only, we're only going to pluck the thumb. And then we're just going to pluck the, the uh, fourth and third string together. Kind of a rock and roll sound. Okay. One more time slow. Just going to pluck those two there and then pluck the thumb again on the third fret, sixth string. And then the same pattern. Then we take our first and second finger and pluck that fourth and third string. Okay. One more. Then we go all the way up to the 10th fret. Sort of the same pattern. So we're going to slide into it just, just, with the, just with the thumb on the 10th fret to the 12th fret on the bottom string. Now this time we're going to skip the first and second finger up to the third and second string respectively. Okay, so it's just the, that two string combination. And you kind of cut that off with that palm mute that we talked about in previous lessons. Just sort of palm down on it. And then a quick pluck, sort of a, sort of a timing thing, just a quick pluck on the muted string. So. And then we go to the 11th fret and finish it. And then down to the 10th fret. Okay, so. so it's a very, it's kind of a palm muting thing. It's, it's not difficult. It may seem confusing right now, but you'll pick it up right away. So 10th fret to 12th fret on the low string. Sorry. And then immediately pluck the uh, third and second string simultaneously. And then a quick pluck the 11th fret and then end it on the 10th fret. Okay, so let's play it just a couple of quick times here. Okay, let's play the entire second section now. And one more. break down this third part coming right up. The third and final part of this riff uh, utilizes the thumb rake technique. Uh, I believe there's a tutorial way back um, when we first started doing these where I explained the thumb rake technique. Uh, so you may want to go back and refresh to that if you're, if you're not quite up to speed yet. Otherwise, I'll play you the last part of it. Uh, I'll just play the lick. <laughs> We'll do that one more time. Now let's just break this down nice and slow. So we're going to start with the thumb rake down around. You can do it either on the fifth or the fourth string, whatever. Whatever is comfortable for you. You may not nail this each time in a live situation. I tend to go with the, with the fifth string. Okay, so... So and then it's so we just kind of do a, a little rake with the thumb on all the strings all the way up to the high string. And then we do that mute thing again with the, with the heel of our palm. You're just going to 
You just want to kill it right away, okay? Now, um, you can do this part of it whichever way you like. I tend to rake it like this, and then use my first finger. Okay, so. And then I use my thumb on the third string at the third fret. So here's how it goes. So thumb rake, first finger, sixth fret, second string. You can do a little vibrato there if you want. And then the thumb down on the third string, third fret. This is what we have so far. Sorry, I want to use my first finger. It's a bad habit I have. And, and sorry, let's just be clear here. You finish the rake uh, with the second finger, your middle finger, like this. Okay? So I, uh, sorry, I may not have explained that correctly in the first part of this. And uh, so we're going to use just our second finger for the rake, or, or thumb for the rake, second finger for the pluck. And then sixth fret, second string with the first finger. And then the thumb all the way down on the third fret, uh, third string. So let's play it one time through. So we'll just end it now with uh, uh, basically with a uh, first finger on the third fret sliding down to open G. So we'll do a we'll do a little pull off at the end. Okay. Then we start with the fourth string, third fret, and slide that up to the fifth fret. Okay. Now you can do a variation of that like I did in the first lick. You could go. Either one of those, I might mix it up in the jam track. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's just finally go through that last part. Or the other way. Whichever way you like to do. So, before we get to the jam track, let's play uh, the entire lick that we have so far. I'll play it slow. Play the second variation of that. So that one's just a little bit simpler. I'll mix those variations up in the jam track so you can have some fun, assuming you're keeping up with me here um, after this many lessons. So let's get to the jam track and we'll have some fun on this one.
Well, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson today. Um, and as always, if, if you are enjoying these, uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you really, really like these, uh, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Dan Walsh. We got lots more to come up here. Um, so stay tuned uh, and we'll have a good time as we always do. <laughs>